All right, this is a little bit different, but I don't know. I just had this sudden urge yesterday to go and play Heroes of Hammer Watch, and um, I, I played a little bit yesterday, and I figured, you know what, let's let's go and maybe not make this a series. Eh, I guess I can make it a series, but not quite the same. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? Kind of have this uh, idea set out for how I want to go and make all these characters, what the theme is going to be. Um, something like that. Let's see. This. Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright, so the naming scheme, right? The My original run, I had a bunch of uh, Final Fantasy characters names. This time, it's going to be uh, X-Men, or, well, more specifically mutants, I guess. Um, well, I guess each of these people that I've listed out already are going to become uh, an X-Men at some point. What age are you in? Don't point that thing to me. Fine, let's go with a uh, weird pompous. Um, Alright, so for the unendowed... Um, or the uneducated, unendowed, I don't know how endowed you are. Um, Heroes of Hammerwatch is a roguelike. Uh, roguelite, roguelike, I never knew the distinction. Um, uh, so we're just going to be running through, I'm kind of just going to go and start. Name's Darren Epps, it's all about supply and demand. 5% evasion, 20 mana. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, and small key. Eat up half my uh, money. You start out with uh, 250. And I'm kinda gonna explain things on the way. So, uh, right? If you enter, there's no turning back. So we start at the, the base of this huge tower. Um, and depending on the character you've picked, uh, you have different abilities and stuff. You're going to go and press tab to go and see the map. Um, and then, uh, you know, like I said, each of the characters have different abilities. So the paladin is um, completely melee, but kind of makes up for that by the fact that they have a shield here that blocks uh, blocks projectiles, and you can kind of like increase sort of the uh, the arc of the shield um, oh. so these are this is a trap here I'm just gonna kind of blitz through it because uh, I just don't care Greaves of the barbarian sure uh, I okay I, I, I don't know like exact machinations of, of how to min max in this game I know that you kind of uh, want to go on you kind of abuse the system a little bit and you uh, just go on runs, constantly like stacking potions or something, oh. um, and stuff like that. Towards the end game, I'm not gonna go and do that. Um, I'm just gonna try and uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know what like that. It's it's a roguelike, right? And so um, there's not really a. I, I don't really know how to describe like an end state that I'm looking for. Um, um, I, I guess just just getting all all the characters up to level 20 is a start. Um, so I'm gonna probably get um, Colossus here up to level 10. Uh, it won't be all on screen. I'm gonna be. I, I don't want to say this game gets grindy, but it can you know get a little bit monotonous. Uh, so I'll try and uh, at least keep the uh, the videos entertaining for whomever bothers to go and watch this. But I kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of intended this to, to be a little bit of a reflection. We'll do this, uh, like, I'll, I'll go and, oh my goodness. I'll go and play a little bit uh, every single weekend and kind of check in with myself. That's the kind of the goal, I guess. Um, oh, 
There we go. Get me out of this hellhole. Yeah, you and me both, brother. So right now, um, right. So this, I just press C. This is my character chart. Right, you can see my experience. I'm getting 99 percent. Um, this is speed. This is the resources you've picked up. Um, armor and this health, mana, mana regen, and health regen. As you can see, I have zero health regen at level one. So this run might not go too well for me considering I'm sitting at four health. Um, so then along the way, uh, as you as you journey upwards, because uh, you start in the mines and then you move to the dungeon, and I'll, I'll kind of refrain from explaining the rest of that. All right, thanks for saving me. Help yourself to this ore. You can use the elevator to deliver it to town, right? So several times throughout the run, you will have opportunities to go in and deliver the resources you have picked up down to uh, the town at the very bottom, right? So I just delivered the four ore I picked up in that room, um, as well as some gold, but gold gets taxed. Ore does not... Oh my goodness. All right, I leveled up, and that healed all my health. And in addition, that should have given me... <laughs> some health regen um, yeah the first couple runs of this are gonna be rough but like I said I kind of want to just use this as an opportunity to check in with myself because I haven't I'm, I'm aware of, of kind of where I am in life but I haven't really like really sat down and uh, sort of talked through it um, with myself. I've talked through it with other people and they've been helpful, but oh my goodness. So right now I am a weak, I'm very weak. Um, so I am doing my best to kind of kite enemies um, and uh, only attract uh, as many as I can go and handle. Uh, all and all your characters really Right, because there's different like classes. I picked Paladin, but there are others. Um, all classes, you know, have pluses and minuses. You know, I think it's a decently well balanced game um, up until a certain point. So that's a blood sacrifice. You go and give up 10% of your health to get a random buff. This is the exit right here. Uh, as you can see, I heal, oh my goodness, very slowly. I walked right into that. And then there are a couple of places like this that have secrets. Now, I don't remember, oh my goodness. Oh, that's mana regeneration. Oh, gross. Having mana as the paladin isn't that gross, but like, it's, it's unhelpful for the state I'm in. So then there are other things like traps like this, and then the arrow trap that we saw previously this one's gimmick is sometimes there'll be stuff kind of hanging out in this left corner here uh, and you kind of want to uh, clear that out All right uh, and then there are usually buttons I'll go and disable traps but right you want to get the stuff in here otherwise this trap permanently goes up and you can't uh, pick it up so let's see what this is Sure. Blood right of the immortal. Increase to armor. <laughs> okay. Um, so then there's something I passed up over here. This is a monolith. This also gives you a buff, but this buff is limited by time. Right, so there's a little icon in the bottom right. Is that luck? Oh, 100% gold gain? Oh. I'm not sure how helpful that's going to be. Because um, I feel like I'm going to die and... Right, and every time you die, things that you haven't sent back to town are lost, right? So there's this trade-off. Do you, do you send it back to town? Or do you hang on to your gold so that you can go and spend it? Because there are a couple, like, shops and stuff along the run. Oh my goodness, there's another uh, thing here. Honestly, I'm just gonna go and uh, send my stuff down now um, and then explore the rest of the, the floor. 
because um, who knows there might be like a, a store and I don't want to uh, die halfway there um, and lose all that when there's uh, the rest of the floor still to uh, loot the gold from, you know? Especially when I have two times uh, two times gold. Um, so yeah, like I said, this this gold buff that I picked up from the monolith is timed. The blood right is not. Blood right is permanent. So, right, I think that's one of the um, things that people take advantage of in the late late game is they just constantly go and find blood altars, and they just continuously stack until you die. But if you continue doing runs, you won't die, right? So. Or, or if you, you, yeah, you constantly, like, win your runs, you don't die, per se, right? So you just stack those into oblivion. Um, um, oh my goodness, my shield is so small right now. Kind of bit off more than I can chew. Just kind of back up, get at the, the corner here. Because it kind of lines up all the... The ranged units, if you kind of uh, post up at the corner there. Right, so if I go and kind of hide down here, they all kind of take the same angle to, to get to me. Um, so yeah, uh, let's kind of go over this week. Uh, this week was was pretty good. I went and played volleyball twice with a bunch of strangers. Uh, this weekend, I uh, also or the past weekend, I also went out to Ann Arbor to go and meet up with a bunch of artsy strangers. Just two different meetup groups. Uh, this is my second time with art group, uh, and Monday was my first time with the volleyball group. They had like maybe up to 24 people uh, at the height of it. We had two nets set up. It was uh, pretty uh, ridiculous how many people there were. So what is this? It's like this. No. Um, what did I press first? So that? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Oh, ho, ho, ho. traps hurt. Um, down to 11 health. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, I went and played volleyball uh, with a bunch of uh, strangers, and that was a whole lot of fun. I, uh, I definitely needed the exercise. I'm still pretty out of shape, though. Um, so it, I was very sore after Monday's uh, Monday session. Okay, this one, this one's a nasty one, right? Because you're, you expect them to go and open up one after the other, but no, you kind of need to go and duck into that right hand uh, little alcove over here. Yeah, so uh, volleyball was good. Left me a little bit sore. I had to go and massage that out, but I'm just I'm just glad for like the uh, socialization and, and like seeing other humans again. I've been pretty isolated. Um, pretty isolated for a while. And, uh, you know, I've been working from home the entire time. So, nothing's really changed on that front. Oh my goodness, thank you. Alright. Alright, so this guy gives you a potion. Uh, if this yeah, got trapped in here, trying to refill my supply by this magic spring. Don't forget to fill your flask. Right? So, potion gives you 50, and then in addition, whenever you get the spring... Oh, that was dumb. I should have saved the spring until uh, I'd made more progress through the floor, just in case uh, I got really uh, beat up. 
because the the spring not only heals your entire health and mana pool, which is great at these low levels when you have like zero health regen, but it also um, refills your potion um, like uh, usages. So, so the the ranged maggots in here don't actually have like any melee attack, so you can kind of just post up indefinitely with the, the shield uh, as a paladin. This is one of the reasons why I picked paladin is paladin's pretty uh right you don't need to you don't need to worry about dodging just yet. Uh, it kind of trivializes a lot of these early uh, floors and stuff so you can kind of Oh that was dumb. So you can kind of uh, make progress as a start because classes do give bonuses to the other classes eventually. Um and then, yeah, the Paladin's just good at getting through traps like that. Um, oh, this guy is... Got beaten up by quite a number of these guys when I uh, was doing a sort of practice run yesterday. Oh! Alright, so there are some uh, chests that need keys. Um, did I explore this out? I think I did. I'm just gonna go and continue. I w I'm surprised my first run has uh, let me get this far. So, yeah, uh, meals-wise, I did uh, pretty okay. There are a couple of uh, oh, I poisoned. I really should just pop the potion. Um, better to use it than lose it, right? And when I say lose it, I mean like lose your life. Red-eyed bats are faster. They probably hit harder too. Alright. Just want to clear out these bats. Uh, and get to this... Uh, or delivery station as soon as possible. Let's actually, yeah, let's go check down here first. Because uh, bringing in like 2,000 gold on my first run is uh, pretty ridiculous. Um, now, okay, you get gold gets taxed or does not. So, um, so depending on how much. Um, gold you've you've sent or, or the the total amount of gold that the uh, town has the uh the tax rate increases um i don't understand why why they go and do that it kind of just punishes collecting gold no no it it, it literally just does that it just punishes you for collecting gold um so um I don't know like all the end game strats. I've said this before, but uh, it's it's one sort of like min max rule to just load up on entirely on on or uh, convert all your uh, your gold and uh, gamble it or spend it away by the end so that every single run um, in the late game uh, you just absolutely run through everything and uh, your gold doesn't get taxed as much. And then you can go and kind of bank it as ore, uh, which doesn't, you know, contribute to taxes and stuff. I am surprised by how well I'm doing, but like I said, I did go and play through a couple hours yesterday, so I'm not as rusty as I guess I could be. There's a lot of guys here. I'm surprised the sword is uh, one-shotting a lot of these uh, small beetles, or mites, I think they're called. And then these guys are a piece of cake as the paladin. Right? So, paladin is all melee. Um, so, there's, a, there's definitely a, you know, you, you lose out, right? I can't just, like kill this guy from afar but that the shield just does so much 
so much work. Um, oh, level up. That healed me up. Um, oh, this room I just kind of run through. Increases the tax midpoints. Uh, I always kind of... Right, there are places where you can kind of like ba cash in like items and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. Um, and papers of, no of nobility, I kind of always ignore like the the taxes are gonna like always get their due. Oh my goodness, there's a shop here. Um, okay, so let's make sure we go and pick up all the uh, all the uh, gold we can. Uh, well, I still have that buff active because I still do have that buff active. So I think I've kind of explored out everywhere, so kind of drained the uh, the floor of all the gold I could get. Mana stone. Uh, oh, I haven't been using my. Uh... <laughs> That's dumb. Um, yeah, so I picked that up. All right, there are some uh, item sets that, you know, work together. So, papers of mobility. Um, what did I want to... Yeah, but I haven't been using my uh, right click, which is a dash that allows me to uh, do this. Uh, and it's just, oh, there's more stuff down here. Okay. Well, it's fine. I was probably going to just go buy those anyway. I think the, the, the next, so every fourth floor has like a, oh, there's a little uh, secret here. You can see usually the red eyes. No, the red eyes are a tip off, but there's something hitting. All right, so now I have All right, let's just go and blitz through this. Oh. So yeah, uh, the fourth floor, uh, every fourth floor has a boss on it. So um, I'm coming up on the boss next and I'm I don't know what class he is. He might be a construct, which is why I picked that up. Um, wow, I have a lot of gold. I should just go back and buy something more. Um, yeah, so I guess it's a real like high level explanation. Let's go kind of back to back to my week because. I don't know, that's kind of what I need to uh, think about. Critical attack. I think that's it. It costs the most, so it must be the most valuable item there, right? I am not going to go and beat up this boss that's upcoming. I don't have any potion uh, usages. Um, the thing about entering the boss floor, though, is I think usually you get all your health restored. Let's see, I have 77, 78... Yeah, I'm back up to 82. And then, right before each boss, there's also an opportunity to send down everything you've got. So, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh. Yep, he hurt. There's a boss. But this isn't the worst of it. It's going to get worse. So, um, one of my items, I got like a magic missile um, item that whenever I use one of my abilities, um, this is the, uh, the the dash, it shoots a magic missile. So now I actually do have a range, um, but uh, I'm more worried about these bats. These bats are going to mess me up because I am so weak. And they just endlessly spawn, so I don't know if there's really a point to just uh, 
focusing them and uh, but I've got a kind of kite them and every uh, so often go and hit the boss oh I'm not gonna survive this but that's okay uh, for a first run the fact that I got six ore and three thousand gold to the um, to the town that's that's great all right so hit restart I'm back at the town um, first place to go with ore is um, the uh, town hall, because this goes and fixes things up. So I've got War Trader. Not yet. Um, maybe that was a throw, but I can actually go and use my gold quite well. If you help me rebuild the guild hall, I'll train you for a fee, of course. Um, Alright, shield, passive, it just increases the uh, arc of the shield. And it does a little bit more. Um, and I'm just going to use my uh, upgrade my uh, normal attack, because that's what I'm using more. And this guy lets you go and uh, change things. The first time is free. Uh, I, I like Colossus here. Uh, and this guy... Oh, well, there's all my gold gone. <laughs> to uh, attack and armor. But yeah, like I said, that was a pretty good first run. Oh, and then this guy uh, that we rescued... Um, can give you upgrades as well, but you need to go and bring in enough ore to the town. Um, wow. Alright, that's it. Yeah, you need to go bring enough ore into town to go and like upgrade each of these stations. Each kind of like upgrade a different part of the game. Alright. Beasts. I think that's pretty good because all of the like Mites, I think, are, are beasts. Like the beetle guys on the first uh, three floors. Uh, what was that? Oh. Alright. I'm going to try not to be under 25% health. Alright, we've got a station here. There's an orange. So yeah, these are... Consumables pop up on, on floors as well. Um, so I'm going to try and avoid them until like the end of a, of a floor. Or until like I, I can actually go and use them. I do have two levels now, so I will be gaining uh, health back, which is uh, better. Oh, that's my uh, artsy meetup group. Scheduling something for tomorrow, I bet. My only problem with all these meetup groups that I, I joined uh, is uh, they're all in Ann Arbor and I have to drive. It's not like, it's like 20 minute drive there and 20 minute drive back and I, I don't know. I kind of don't want to move closer to Ann Arbor. But at the same time, like, I don't like the, uh, I don't like the commute, so. I, I have to, I have to pick one, right? <laughs> I can't, I can't ask for both, so. It'd be, it'd be much more convenient to be, a uh, local to Ann Arbor, so maybe, maybe I should think about it. Especially because, you know, 
work right now hasn't asked me to be in. All right, so this is one an example of a room that just the traps just don't ever stop. All right, so I'm gonna go and pick up one of the oranges here. Um, so yeah, Monday I went to play volleyball for the first time. That was pretty good. Uh, Tuesdays are kind of good work days for me. Like I usually get a lot of stuff done. I've got a lot of important meetings on Tuesdays. Um, um yeah. Uh, and as well on Tuesday, uh, I went and ordered a Lego set like a month ago, uh, for the, uh, uh, Horizon, uh, Zero Dawn, or Forbidden West. It's, I, th I think Tall Necks are in Forbidden West. I haven't gotten that far yet. Well, as in I haven't played Forbidden West yet. Um, I'm pretty sure Tall Necks would be a decent staple in that game too. Um, but yeah, uh, Tall Necks, you know are iconic and I just I wanted the Lego set and so I went and bought it and I do not regret it because I think it's a very beautiful set I'm actually considering buying a second and using those pieces to make like an alternate build whether that be like a, um, a not a thunder jaw I'm, I'm not sure maybe you could pull off a thunder jaw with that piece that part selection but like I feel like definitely can make a um, gosh I'm blanking on the name the big cat guys um, uh, what am I what am I thinking of attracted a little bit too much attention here. Kind of draw some of these guys over to the traps and let them uh, kill themselves. Especially because I can just kind of walk around this one. Um, gosh, what is the name? I'm pretty sure it doesn't end with jaw. No, it's not Stormbird. Um, Blaze. No. What is the? Okay, sorry. I'm I'm actually looking this up. Sawtooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sawtooth. Uh, so I, I definitely think that the parts included uh, in the uh, in the tall neck set could be uh, made into a uh, a sawtooth because the sawtooth just doesn't have the same like height, right? So you can use so many of the. Uh, the uh, the neck pieces and the uh, like the the parts that lengthen the legs of the uh, the tall neck to kind of uh, integrate into a, a more feline right you I, I guess what I'm, what I'm saying is that you have you should have parts kind of to use by a, sort of like changing the profile all right so I went and dash there um, I do have it available, I just haven't been using it. Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to go pop potion here. Play it safe. Oh my goodness. These spiky boys dish out a lot of damage. dead end up here. 
Another one over here. Oh, there's a store. Handy. Um, so yeah, Tuesday I went and built the tall neck. Um, I kind of, I, I, I did go and uh, record it. It's not going to make a great, um, it's not going to make like a, a great, uh, time lapse, I don't think, because I had the camera just so far away and I'm probably getting in the camera's view. Like, I've never gone and made like a Lego time lapse before. And then when you can go and see the like the really well done ones on uh, YouTube uh, and stuff, you know, they they have like the camera really up close next to the parts. You can see each individual piece. Maybe you can hear the clicking of the the, the parts coming together. Right, this is nowhere near as polished. Um, so um, there's not much to expect there. All right, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised that I've uh, done so well. Yeah, there's some traps like that that I'm just gonna run through. Uh, I don't, I just don't respect them. Uh, basically, if they get one hit on me, they'll probably not get more than that. Um, all right. Oh, it's a new uh, enemy. Uh, that's actually pretty spooky. Uh, Gonna dash a couple times. Yeah, he did 28 there. Uh, and then when he dies, he's supposed to spawn other guys, but didn't. And then in addition, he went and uh, buffed up a lot of uh, the people around him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna not make it. Okay, it's fine. Because maggots can't... Uh, Maggots can't uh, do anything but uh, shoot at your shield. Sometimes the enemies do reposition though, um, and try and kind of get around uh, to to surround you. So that's why I like to, like I said, post up and kind of limit the angles that they can see me. Um, I don't know if that's a the right phrase to be using. Post up. Not playing basketball here. Though, speaking of basketball, so <laughs> transitioning. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday uh, was the Warriors game, but I had to deal with a bunch of. Uh, oh no. I was trying to avoid the enemies on the. Uh, oh my goodness. Two health. Alright. I don't think I'm uh, making it out. Uh, Wednesday, I kind of had to deal with, uh, like, life stuff, like cooking. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, cooking, and... Oh, wait, yeah, I spent all my gold. That's where it went. Um, and I only have four ores, so I can't upgrade anything. Well... Guess we're just going right back in. I don't even think I can uh, afford to to buy anything. This is unlucky. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy just a bronze key. I'm not gonna like burn myself down to 85, you know. Um, so yeah, leveling up in this game actually takes quite a while. Um, and I will be trying to, maybe not min-max that completely, but I will be uh, taking advantage of a couple things to... Oh, well, guess what I could really use right now? One thing I could have bought. It's fine. It's fine. You can also find uh, keys on floors. Um, so, it's not the end of the world if you don't want to have one immediately, but of course you don't you don't have the uh, opportunity to go back any floors, right? So, if there's a chest you missed because you didn't have the right key, well, you're gonna miss it. I'm kind of being a little bit more rambunctious now that I've seen the, uh, um, the spring over there. Uh, I really should use my, uh, 
ability to more often. Uh, yeah, but Wednesday was uh, a lot of cooking and um, just dealing with uh, foodstuffs. Um, there's like these uh, frozen... Uh, I don't know what the best description of the actual chicken is, but they're... Oh, I took care of quite a number of them there. That's good. Um, I don't want to call it like candy chicken. Uh, but there's like frozen, frozen chicken uh, that you can go and kind of apply this like spicy sauce to, and oh man, love it so much. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, I don't want to call it like sugary, but it's it's like a, a very sticky uh, general so sauce or something. Um, wait, what what did I pick up from that chest? Was that ore? Must have been ore. All right, so there's one little area up in the upper left, and that's either a chest or something important. Um, yeah, so I went and cooked that up. Um, you know what? I'll go and send this down because now I'm up to uh, six ore. I can use that to upgrade something in the town. Um, probably the ore trader is coming up next. Um, probably has the most utility to me. Go and do this. Just to get my little bit of sliver of health and uh, mana up. So yeah, Wednesday was also the Warriors game, uh, which I was tuned into uh, very intently. Edited a couple videos while that was going on. Um, Warriors uh, won that game. Uh, in a pretty convincing fashion, uh, you know, the starters came off towards the end there for both teams, so that's usually a good sign. Uh, the the Mavs just kept missing. Um, that's really what it came down to. Um, their shots weren't landing, and Luca had a really uh, bad uh, first uh, first half, first quarter. I don't know. The pundits will give you better. Uh, fake analysis if we want that. Um, I, I'm not saying that all, you know, sports analysts are bad. It just, you know, a lot of people are just there for the hot takes, right? They'll be like super hot on Steph Curry and then be like, oh my goodness, he's supposed to be better than this, you know? Like, it's just like, just, I, I don't want to say going in for the clicks, because uh, that's more of a NFL, uh, sort of uh, thing going on right now is like Trey Lance is a you know the 31st best uh, quarterback in the league it's like yeah because you've seen him for two games like how many games did you see uh, Fitzpatrick for uh, this past season Do you have uh, Fitzpatrick rated higher than Trey Lance Anyway, it's just, you know, they know they get the clicks because the Niners fan base is just, is, is, you know, they're called faithful for the reason. Oh, maybe that's a little bit uh, much jumping in there, but I'm just trying to get rid of the spawners. Um, there's a bat spawner uh, kind of in the bottom left of that room. Yep. All right. See, shield just trivializes this, which is why I wanted to go and uh, start out with Paladin. Paladins are just pretty good uh, to kind of start off with because it's just decent for, for clearing things out. So, actually, you know what? I think we're going to go get to level 5. Oh. I think I'm going to get to level 5 with Paladin, and then I'll go and swap to a different uh, character. Probably, um... Ranger? I think Ranger is next. Um, and then, throughout the week... You know what? I'm going to go... Oh. Wrong button. Pop that. Better use it than lose it, right? Now it'd be even better if I didn't have to use it. But anyway, like I was saying, sports pundits. I'm not gonna say that all of them are are you know big hot take um, guys like uh, Stephen A. Smith or. Uh,
Yeah, I, I think that's the, the, the big name. That's a, the hot take guy. Uh, though, he's rooting for my Warriors this year, so I can't... Uh... Oh, I never understood these rooms. Alright, I'll take all of it, though. Thank you. Yeah, he's rooting for the Warriors, so I don't know if I should be, uh, you know, dissing him right now. Or he's going to go and jinx me. Or jinx the team. Um, so Thursday was another volleyball day. Uh, this was a much smaller group. There's only like 12 people, but they all like stuck around and they're all like pretty good. Uh, I, uh, I I really enjoyed uh, playing volleyball on Thursday, even though I was still a little bit sore. Uh, but simply because, you know, we're getting good passing, you know, like back row gets the ball. We got setter always like distributing, you know. I'm not going to say like everyone was, was great and they're a bunch of like dumb hits still, you know, where uh, these guys are, you know, hitting things with their, uh... okay, maybe I shouldn't be like talking too much about volleyball technique because I don't have the best technique myself, um, but it's just like, there's right, there's certain parts of the, the hand, right, that go and, and push the ball a little bit more, right? You kind of want to get your palm on it instead of just your fingertips, because I don't think your fingertips can apply as much uh, force, right? And it's things things like that that kind of... There are a couple of hits that are just like, oh yeah, that was all all fingertip, and uh, you know, a couple moves that are just like, yeah, that was probably not legal. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm probably not the uh, the best person to go and talk about volleyball technique. Um, uh, especially because, you know, I'm, I'm still exceptionally rusty from whenever I was, you know, like, whenever I would really, really call myself a, a volleyball player. Alright, so I don't respect this, uh, trap either. Just run through it. I, uh, I saved uh, this little pocket up here because uh, I uh, I wanted to go and cash my ore in first um, and that you know that cashes in my gold as well right so uh, once again it's a sort of use it or lose it policy right I'm not gonna if, if I die I can't go and bring my ore back in so I want to bring at least uh, what I have in oh my goodness that hurt and I am out of potion drafts. So, right, if, if things do get sketchy here, you know, even though there's more ore on this floor, I'd rather uh, lose one and bring back five than lose six, you know? Um, is this the one that I have the... No, that's it? Oh my goodness. bunch of them here the gameplay is probably uh, not as uh, entertaining but I don't, I don't want to say the paladin's boring but it's he's, he's simple right paladin's very simple short range the whole way you don't have to really I'm not really using abilities because I'm just kind of getting by on just kiting enemies but I think it's you know important to learn how to go and kite these enemies before you move on to the other classes because the other classes do not have the same protections that the uh, Paladin does with the shield and the high uh, armor and I'm not sure if they the, the Paladin has like higher health per se. Okay, so yeah. Traps like that can go and hurt... Uh, is there anything here? Nope. Like this can go and hurt uh, the enemies too. Um, so where was that? Thursday? Um, yeah, so there was... Uh, it was, a, it was a pretty good uh, a group of, of, of players. Um, there are definitely some uh, bad shots by everybody, but um, I don't know. I, 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 oh my goodness. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, level up. That was perfect. Oh, yeah. So last time I killed one of those guys, I thought it was going to spawn the, the spiky ones, but it didn't. Uh, that level up came at the perfect time. Um, oh, I got poisoned. That's not good. That's not good. Um, so yeah, uh, volleyball was, was, it was fun. Uh, we had a couple of good, good hitters and a couple of not so great hitters. Um, but most people could, you know, get the ball over the nets and it just became a, uh, game of, uh, who can get the, the better passing in and better receiving in rather than who's, uh, who is the most exceptional. Like, you know, there wasn't like any, like, dominant players per se a couple very good players but I'm probably the youngest there uh, I think there's other maybe one or two other grad students two two people could probably have been in under, undergrad um, so you know maybe maybe the age difference isn't uh, as big um, as I I think it'd be as I assume it'd be um, oh boy. Yeah, so I wasted one ore, but I sent six back to town. Um, all right, is, uh... No, level four. All right, one more level, and then I will swap to somebody else. But um, I've got ten ore here, which is good to go and upgrade. I'm gonna do that. Um, yeah, and of course, you know, upgrades get more expensive, so. You best uh, hope that you're uh, scaling as uh, scaling as well. No, nope, not gonna change. Oh, did I never? Uh, did I hit retrain last time? Huh. There's, there's my gold. And this guy... Eh, Scroll of Magic Missile would probably have been pretty useful, because right, it gives me some range. Uh, but only when I dash, right? Because that's the only skill I have unlocked at this point. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to hop back in. Um... Attack power, I'm not going to complain about that. So yeah, purple or crits, as you can see, that 10 attack power is doing really good. Like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, one-shotting these guys isn't, like, a very high bar, but uh, considering this only, like, what, what, like, fourth run or something, um, being able to kind of, uh, I don't want to say cruise, because we've only made it to the boss once, and, uh, but... Being able to, to to progress as far as I have uh, so quickly, um, I think it's just the practice paying off. So yeah, uh, volleyball was was good, but afterwards I was just I was so exhausted. I did not want to uh, I did not want to cook, even though I'd prepared stuff uh, the day before. Um, so I I I went back to my I don't want to call it my enemy. DoorDash because it's been my savior a couple times, but I just I, I I tried to go and DoorDash stuff, but it was so late because we finished volleyball at nine. I get home at like nine twenty, nine thirty. That you know all the stores were were just like, yeah, we've we've had it. We don't want people ordering anything anymore. So yep, I 
I had a very, very late dinner Thursday night. Um, but you know, I kept myself fed. Um, and then each of the days that I went in and played volleyball, I took the uh, the anxious one out. Um, uh, an extra time, an extra like sort of midday uh, walk to go and uh, you know play fetch and all that. Um, all right, so this chest can't be gotten except for either I think the thief's grappling hook might use it, might be able to get to it, or maybe you need to enable glass walks. But those are both a little ways off. Um, the thief, I think, is a little bit closer, but I, I, I don't think it's the thief's grappling hook. Uh, I think it just might be glass walks that let you get to that. Uh, but that's not going to be for a while because we need the fountain level two for that. So I actually picked up a key from the uh, the spawner there. I think um, big enemies may also be able to drop that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm going to go and just cash in my ore right now. I know I only have like 130 gold and there's more here, but I want to uh, send at least that down. So I have like 200 or something in the bank uh, for my next run. And I can go and carry this onto the next floor in the hopes that there's a uh, shop, right? Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I took the anxious one out. I've, I've created her when I've gone out uh, recently. This is to both the uh, art meetup and to, to volleyball. And I think it's worked out pretty well. Uh, she hasn't gone and uh, turned the crate inside out like she used to. Um, Alright. Was that the exact opposite way I want to go? Yep. Oh. Um, yeah, so, so where are we at? We're at Friday now, I guess. Uh, yesterday I did not do, like, any work. Like, like, I, I did work, but I, I definitely could have been a whole lot more productive, um, yesterday at work. I'm, I'm honestly considering, like, turning on my work laptop this weekend and, uh, kind of letting some things run in the background while I go about my day. Uh, yes, please, Lifestone. Um, aberrations. I don't know if we're running into any aberrations yet. I might go for the Scimitar next. And if I can't afford that scroll of magic. Maybe I can afford both by the end of this, who knows. So yeah, Friday I did not get a lot of work done yesterday. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of anything yesterday, to be honest. I mean, I guess I uh, drew a couple of uh, some really weird, cheapy, uh, high Q uh, characters. I want to go and decorate my volleyballs, um, and I think I want to go and. So I, 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 I've, I've had this kind of like project, kind of plan for a little while um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go use crayons to go and basically do some line work because crayons like kind of rub off of the volleyball and then I've got so, a bunch of like different colored sharpies and once I've got the line work done I can kind of uh, make something that you know put something permanent on the on the volleyball that I think was uh, is gonna be cool so I've gone and made a kind of like drafted out a couple of chibi uh, high Q characters um, that I'm going to go and dot on one of them. I thought about uh, doing Apex Legends characters, but I don't know how to simplify them. Maybe if I can go chibify them as well. Um, that would be pretty cool, but I am limited to 12 colors of permanent marker right now. Um, so I don't want to get exceptionally complex, you know? Uh, 
All right, it's journeyman's gauntlets or something. 15 health. All right, I'm not gonna complain about that. Basically, anything at this level is is useful, right? I think this is floor two. You can see the floor that you're on in the uh, upper right when you go and hit a uh, tab for the map. And I think there's like a, a, a full scale map you can pull up. Uh, was it G? Oh no, this is Ademary. Mystery. Yeah, we haven't killed any aberrations yet. But so when I when I did my first run, the reason I picked up the constructs um, like uh, bonus thing is because the Stone Guardian is a construct. Uh, I do remember that. So um, all right, we got 500 gold. I think I, I said I wanted to go for the scimitar, right? For the uh, bonus crit chance. What's my crit chance at now? 2.5, bring that up to 5%. 25 magic damage. Yep, I changed my mind. Having just any range at all is just, I think, very valuable on the... Uh, on the paladin. Because look at this. Let's see. Let's try again. So, yeah, I somewhat respect this one. So, I'll go and wait a little bit here. Took a little bit of damage there, um, but hey, that's why I got the journeyman's gloves, right? Okay, I see a uh, a well here, which is good. All right, place to use a key. Claymore. Wow, okay, both Broadsword and Claymore. Dang. Oh, got another key. Uh, old map. So yeah, it lets you go and kind of see uh, everything on the, on the map. I did get the Lifestone, right? Yeah. Now, that's only when you kill an enemy, but if that, like, works on the bats in the, uh, Stone Guardian's, uh, place, um, I'll be very, very happy. Alright, so let's, oh, let's say, let's try, uh, Magic Missile. Oh. Magic Missile. See, the, the, the problem with the magic missile, missile is, I'm, is I'm dashing forward, because that's the only ability I have at this point. Um, so, um, yeah. Anyway, oh, so, so yesterday, Friday, um, was the Warriors' second game uh, against the Mavs, and, uh, man, Looney, Kavon Looney, I just... I think he's so underrated. He had that great game towards the uh, end of the uh, um, the end of the series with um, who was it? Not the previous series. Gosh, how how could I have forgotten? We we beat Denver. Uh, was it the Grizzlies? Yeah, the Grizzlies. Uh, he had a great like rebounding uh, game. Um, and that's what, I don't know, kind of reminded me of, right? So that was that was two games ago, and then he had like a 5 for 5 in the first game that we kind of blew out. Um, 
the, the Mavs in. Um, uh, which is, you know, it's not like amazing. Uh, is that my, okay, that's my only, yeah. You know, it's, it's not like super incredible going five for five, but at the same point, you know, like any contribution you get from Looney is, is going to be good contribution. Um, um not okay I, I say that but it's like I, I i'm not trying to say that because like you don't expect looney con to contribute but frankly you don't right like he's he's not like one of the big scorers like like steph clay and pool um you know he's not like he's he's kind of quieter uh quieter impact like uh well Draymond really a quiet. <laughs> Calling Draymond quiet's a little bit funny. Oh, luck. Great. I don't know what luck actually does for you. Um, should probably go and look that up. All right, I'm not gonna go stop by the uh, the well there because or the spring because this um. All right, because because going onto the boss floor heals you up. So. Um, guild. Let's see. I think I, I I don't think I've gone and uh, yeah. There's no upgrades or anything. Uh, Colossus the Paladin. Um, so yeah, uh, great game by Looney yesterday, 21 points. Well, see, that's the thing, right? Like, any contribution you get from Looney is a, a good contribution, right? Well, like, if you're, uh, right, if, 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 if 21 is the high that you're gonna get, um, I think you, you, you applaud a game where he gets, uh, you know, where he, where he hits 10. So, wow, I am, uh surprised I was able to beat that. I think it's just the fact that I have both the Claymore and the Broadsword. My attack power is pretty high right now. Um, plus 2% ore gain per item in your inventory? Really? Okay. Um, that's pretty generous. Because, okay, so like ore gain... If I go and uh, look at this, right, you see plus 18%. So it's not just... Oh, no, 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 it is. So uh, let, let's let's try it when I go and pick up these two ore. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, that was one, that was one. Okay, so if you have more than 100% ore gain, there is a chance, though, that one of them will turn into uh, two, and you'll get two. All right, so this is the next area. Past the mines, this is the dungeon. Um, you're seeing a lot of uh, similar enemies right now, but uh, I assure you, they're going to get a whole lot worse in here. So, I don't know if you saw that in the upper left right here, um, but there's uh, another set of eyeballs. It means there's a hidden place to get through. Yeah, so you can see some skeletons. Uh, the uh, shield still works, uh, so kudos to the shield. Um, man, this Claymore broadsword is very, very good. I expected that uh, those skeletons to give me a little bit more trouble. I'm not expecting this run to go like incredibly but uh, do I want to cash in oh right I have no fog of war um, so yeah there's a chest up here but you there's a door as well so you can't get through uh, just yet uh, so the thing about the dungeon is there is a switch on one of the walls that unlocks all the cells in the dungeon um, and it is right here. Let me go and 
take care of all these guys first. Right, something happened. Well, that's gone and unlocked everything. Um, I'm actually going to go and... Um, let's try and drag most of them. I said I was going to... I was about to say I'm going to go and uh, just pick up the ore that I saw to the towards the right um, and deposit everything, but now that I think about it, I can probably handle this floor, uh, just considering how much damage my, my damage output. Alright, so there's grates in the floor that uh, beetles or bugs or whatever will spawn out of. Yeah, I haven't even used my potion once this run. This run's turning out to be pretty okay. Um, oh, say that and start taking a, a little bit too much damage. All right, but this this right here would have been blocked off, but now I have access to a couple diamonds um, all right I'm gonna go up first and uh, pick up this other apple I think it was only gives me 10 but I'd rather have that than not have it and then I'm gonna go and actually cash in now um, even though there's a chance to go and pick up a little bit more down below. But I'd rather like... Once again, I... Oh! Book of Enlightenment, great! That's like the best thing right now for me. Because uh, leveling up is... Pretty crucial to just getting your stats up, right? Like your, your health regen, for example, is one of the things that gets boosted. And yeah, sure, your health gets boosted too. So, you know, like, oh, yeah, you're still, you know, down a lot, like, as a percent of your, your health, sure, but, you know, you'd rather be uh, down 20 health with, with 100, um, and so it means you have 80 left, rather than, you know, be down 10 health when you're at 50, sure, it's the same percentage, but uh, uh, being at 80 health, I think everyone would, would argue is better than being at 40. I uh, considered using a potion there. Maybe I still will, considering how much uh, health I'm at now. And this room is kind of annoying because it's kind of just a, a guess and check sort of thing. So you need to hit these buttons in the right order and depending on how many tries it takes, your reward will be better. All right, so to the absolute maximum number of times. Alright. Nope. Alright, I'm only gonna get like a diamond or something for this. Oh, no. That's my second journeyman's. Um, what was the other thing? Gauntlets, 15 health, 10 armor. Alright, decent. Oh, I should have hopped on there. It's fine. Yeah, so today is Saturday. Um, it is the 21st of May. It thunderstormed a little bit earlier, but it seems to have, you know, cleared up. So uh, I'm going to take the anxious one out for a little bit longer than I did. Uh, I didn't spend a ton of time out with her. Um... Uh, earlier because like I said it was, it was just thunderstorming so we only uh, went to the the poop spot and back but it's thunderstorming later today as well so I, I can't like really go and say hey let's go on a long adventure today uh, I was planning on it yesterday um, but Oh, 
Alright, so there's a new enemy here that's a, a new elite, I think? That I don't know what, what exactly the buff does. I'm pretty sure it affects speed. Um, it might affect uh, attack power as well. Alright, so let's go and uh, grab the next group of... Uh, ooh, okay! Healing! These skeletons uh, do hurt quite a bit. Um, and there was a spring on this floor, so I'm not... I'm uh, okay uh, giving up my, my potion charge. Um, I mean, you should always be okay giving up your potion charge to let the, the run continue, but uh, now especially, you know, because I can... Uh, not only refill all my life and stuff in a different way than my potion, but I can also refill my potion. Alright. Kind of bait the next round of guys. So my uh, monolith is about to run out. I'm about to run out of luck. I don't really know what luck uh, contributes to in this game. I should probably go and look that up. I've probably said that already. Um, but yeah, anyway, so uh, today it uh, looks like it's going to be uh, rainy for a lot of the day. Uh, it's pretty bright and sunny right now, so uh, I'm probably going to go and, and take a break. Uh, I might hop on a little bit later, um, but I, I also kind of want to get some progress in on Horizon, and I want to go and play some Apex, so, yeah, other things happening this weekend, um, I have some, well, another artsy meetup tomorrow, probably, that I'll be, uh, heading to, um, it just gives me time to go and, uh, sort of like dedicate myself to uh, getting creative projects done uh, which is helpful and then a little bit of social time seeing other you know humans is uh, positive in my opinion all right so I haven't found that dang button yet but there's a uh, thing here I have no idea what the mechanics are for this but it gives you a uh, rewards based on something. Maybe it's time spent in the dungeon. I'd like to think that's what it is. Um, that'd make the most sense to me. Stinger. Eh, armor piercing. Okay. A little bit more damage. Probably shouldn't complain about that. Man, this floor is pretty big. No uh, ore deposit, though. I really should be dashing a little bit more. Yeah, I think we'll end on this run. Okay, and then there's a secret here. Once again, look for the red eyes. Oh! So there's a couple different collections, right? So there's the uh, Journeyman's Outfit, uh, and then the uh, the Shining Knight, and these both... Uh, I kind of classify them the same. They're kind of just like armor sets. Um, oh, this guy's annoying. Uh, the uh, plant thing kind of shoots thorns. Just gotta keep moving. I have quite a bit of health too, so I get kind of annoying. Um, I have not found the switch. 
Um, there should be a switch accessible in every single level of the dungeon. So, unless it's down here. There's a lot of goodies hiding behind uh, the switch. There we go. It's here on the left, hiding behind the ivy. See, so two ore there because I have uh, the uh, Markham Stone. Markham Stone is good for scaling, right? It gives you uh, better bonuses the more items you have. So it's, like I said, it just gets better as, uh, you know, your run gets better. Or the bonuses get better as your run goes along. And the Markham set, armor and resistance, armor and resistance. Once you get up to five... 0.5% attack and skill speed is pretty crazy. Uh, maybe not on the Paladin, but on other uh, more skill-hungry uh, uh, classes. All right. I don't know. I don't know if there's really optimal pathing. I need to head down. I need to head up. I need to go back to uh, replenish my uh, potion drafts. Might as well dash, get there a little bit quicker. I think that's my second uh, tricksters this run. Yep. So now this is just refilling my potions and my mana too. Um, and then there's one more thing down into the right here. If I can bring back this hall right now, you see I've got quite a bit of uh, gold this run. I don't have the lucky rabbit's foot, that was the last run. Um, but, I made it to the third floor of the prison, or oh, not the, yeah, I think I called it the dungeon previously. Oh, perfect. I'm actually going to use that immediately. Um, right, because if I, if I do have more, if I do find, you know, more gold and ore, uh, I'll be able to turn that in. Oof, that guy did a lot of damage. I'll be able to turn it in because uh, the next um, the next floor after this one is a boss, right? So if I'm able to, to collect everything here, um, you'd assume that you know I've cleared out all the enemies and everything like that. So. Uh, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. You've got a, a fat worm down there. These things are pretty spooky, honestly. Um, I'm kind of getting backed up here. Oh, yep. I'm actually going to go and use my potion immediately. Um, well, not immediately, I guess, but... Because these guys, pretty nasty. All right. Oh, is that another one? It looks like another one. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of enemies down below. Oh, okay, no, it was just a... Uh, it wasn't a mama maggot. I don't know what better... I don't know. Sounds like a pretty uh, funny name to call it. 
Alright, there's a store here, but of course I gave up all my gold. But I'd rather, you know, give up all my gold at the beginning. Okay, sturdy belt, sturdy belts. Oh, wow, we can get the entire uh, journeyman's. Yeah, I think these three... Oh, okay. This hunter's knife is really good for um, survivability in the first couple of... Uh, in the first areas. When there's still a bunch of a... Uh, beetles and stuff. Because beetles count as beasts. But then it kind of drops off. You get more, like, I think undead. Is probably the, the classification. Okay. Once again, just trying to limit angles that these guys have on me. Thankfully, it's a bunch of... Oh! Leveled up! Alright, that's level 5. Um, I think I'm going to go swap to another character class after this, but I think my... Uh, I think this session is over. I've kind of just talked about my week. I guess the last thing that happened last night was I went and... Uh, talked to my parents for the first time in probably a year or so. Um, well, no, no, because I saw them in October, um, like in person, so last October, of course. Um, should not have tanked that, whatever poisoned me. I'm just trying to get rid of uh, some of these uh, constructs. Spawners. Alright, let's go and drag a couple more of them. It's the paladin life, not being able to uh, hurt things from afar. No AoE until later, because uh, there will be AoE, um, sort of, um, not like ranged AoE. A lot of kiting, oh my goodness, guy hit me for 16, look at that flurry of arrows. Back to the choke. Kite, kite, kite. Kill the uh, guys that buff everybody. Alright, now can we get rid of. Alright, at least got rid of one. Oh, like I spawned right in front of me. I don't think I can afford uh, any of the uh, shopkeeper items. Well, I could probably afford one, but it would it be worth it to go up for one? I think it'd just be... Uh, oh my goodness! I was about to say, I think it'd just be worth it to go up here and pick up the cheese. Would have been better if I hadn't taken that extra hit. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna make it to the the boss of the uh, the prison. I was not expecting that. Man. 
Man, more of these buffing guys, really? Throughout this last room, or this last area on the left here. Oh! I got stuck! I got stuck! Oh boy. Get out of there. Oh, I'm taking a couple too many hits. Off chance that some of these boxes may have had a uh, health in them. So I, I see the health down below, but you know, need to deal with these guys first. Roxy, it's okay. Probably saw another dog out there. I did open the window because it's uh, pretty cool out there with the uh, the rain cooling things down. All right, there we go. And this is oh, more cheese. All right, fifty. I will take that. I'll not argue with getting fifty health. There is no way I'm beating this next boss. Um, I just do not have the survivability or the uh, damage for it right now, uh, but I might as well um, pick up items from the shop. I could go and complete the journeyman's outfit, and I'm questioning whether that's the best move for me. 10% damage reduction. Gives me like 25 more health. Yeah, this isn't gonna help me against the boss. This might help me though. It only blocks five physical damage though. I think I'd rather just take less damage in total. Yeah, 10% damage reduction entirely instead of 25% chance for five. Um, I don't know, someone out there can probably do the math and figure out like what, at what point, which shop decision there becomes better, um, but still, percent chance versus just flat damage reduction, I know which one I'm taking, oh, it's a bomb in there, great, plus 147 health is uh, pretty strong, alright, so this is boss number two, he has this sort of spin attack, and then after that, oh! Oh! I did not expect him, I thought he was going to shoot the crossbow. Okay, I dodged that attack luckily. Oh, okay. So then he goes and summons these guys, and these guys have like bolos. They don't hurt you, but they like trap you on spot. Um, yep, like that. Probably should be a. Oh. Well, killing these guys can help me heal. Uh, I 
as will the magic missile. Roxy, hey, it's okay. No, 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 no. You don't need to be scared. Roxy, you don't need to be scared. Ouch. Took two hits there. Yeah, like I said, I don't think I have the survivability to uh, to win this fight. Maybe if I were, uh, you know, not taking so many dumb hits like that, um, I'd be better off. I got full journeymans. Like, that's honestly pretty good. Uh, just good, you know, survivability stat padding but I just don't have enough like health regen oh my goodness all right so yeah second boss called the warden but we sent 16 ore back to town that is absolutely ridiculous so anyway I think uh, that's gonna do it um, oh I got a uh, guild title for making that that far um, let's go look at guild titles uh, depending on uh, how uh, good your guild thing is on a certain character. Or maybe guild is total, now that I think about it. Yeah, maybe that's total for all your characters. But as you can see, there's nine slots here for each of the nine characters, right? So now... Um, Colossus is giving plus two armor to any hero. Um, you know, pretty uh, pretty good. Um, and as uh, Colossus levels up, this bonus will increase, right? So each of the different classes gives a different bonus. Um, now the thing is, though, gold and um, ore are shared between everyone on this um, that are kind of in this. Uh, profile here um, and um, some things like uh, like the uh, armor and weapons right upgrades these are per character so you may have like a bunch of like gold like invested into a certain character and like absolutely none on another um, so maybe it's better to have a carry and just do a couple runs with the carry Oh, just so that you can just like max out a lot of things for your other characters. But at least the town upgrades, uh, you know, the town upgrades stick. Um, ooh. I'm gonna go guild hall and fountain. Um, so real quick, uh, guild hall is this thing up here. It's where you can go and upgrade skills. So lay on hands, uh, and then this costs four. Can't afford that yet. Um, but yeah, so you get more passive here. There's another passive here. And then this is another active skill. This is your AOE. But this skill, this third skill right here, just heals, and uh, I think you do a little bit more damage. Let's see. Three health and two percent of max health. Oh no, no, applies shielding. So pretty, pretty useful uh, for that survivability. Now this right here, the fountain is the other thing I upgraded. Um, Right, this like lets you go in and add like bonuses uh, to either make the the run more difficult um, or to make your uh, run easier. Right, so you have infrequent threats. Okay, we never bigger bottle, two more potion charges. Right, like imagine having this, and I went up against that boss again. Who knows? May have been able to uh, take care of it. Um, And then I think there's also 
the fountain just gives you like flat luck based on how much you've thrown into it. But so I'm gonna go and make a preset here of bigger floors, um, enemy reinforcements, and uh, lethal traps. Yeah, I'm going to go in and set that as preset one. And so when you have a negative favor here, uh, in exchange, it gives you more uh, gold percent and more uh, experience. And this is what I really care about is the experience because I want to level up my characters as quickly as possible. Um, Markham's Purcell, that's very good. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for, uh, this, this session. Maybe I'll go and do that again tomorrow. I don't really know if I'll have anything, uh, you know, sort of new to talk about. Um, I'm going to go and buy three ore here, four ore. Yeah. Uh, just because that lowers the taxes, right? Um, and in the next run... I'll probably be playing as the ranger. So I will, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll do a little bit off screening, but I think I'm done with uh, Heroes of Hammerwash for right now. And I'll go and, uh, take the anxious one out while the, uh, weather is taking a turn for the better. Alright, I will see you later.